Hello everyone, it's Emily and I'm back with another budgeting video and I am also going to include a cash envelope stuffing in this video as well. Okay, so I just want to welcome everybody. My name is Emily. I am a single mom of a 10 year old girl. I am a custodian for the local school district here in South Carolina and um, this is a low income budgeting channel. So let's go ahead and get started. Welcome back everybody and hi to my to my newcomers here. And um if you are new, I hope that you like something from this page and you will consider subscribing. But yeah, you guys, um how y'all been doing? Um I hope y'all been doing well. Me, um, it's kind of mixed. Um, I'm glad to be living. I have had some recent health concerns and health scares and I will tell you guys a little bit about that um, once I get started with my budget for this pay period. Okay, so I my paycheck was, I'm going to try to lift this up if you guys can't see it, but um, my paycheck was $1,555.45. This is more than what I usually make. Um, this check reflects 80 hours of pay plus an additional 73 hours of comp time, which is all the hours that I worked over 40 hours for the last couple of months. Um, we have to cash out our comp time by the 30th of June. So this check is my June paycheck and it has my comp time included in this so my normal pay is about eight hundred and sixty dollars so there is a big of a difference there so i got my paycheck plus my uh, comp time okay so my rent my rent this is the check that i pay my rent out of and you will not see any utility bills included um, in this budget because I paid those utility bills with my last paycheck. So if you're wanting to know about my utility bills and my credit card bills and my car insurance and stuff like that, credit card, car insurance, stuff, renters insurance, go back and look at my previous video. Okay, so what I usually do is I'll you um I'll pay my rent and phones out of one check and then I pay all my other stuff out of the other paycheck okay so um it's the first of the month so July rent is 458 dollars and um for all my um day ones or the ones that have been subscribed to my channel been watching my videos um my rent was 468 dollars but it went down ten dollars so my rent is 458 dollars now um, I have a phone for me and for my daughter and each one of those phones are $50 each So both phones I pay and they're $50 each Grocery Grocery got a bit of an increase since food is starting to go up. I usually um, Budget out $50 per week and I get paid every two weeks So that's usually $100 that I budget out. So I budget out basically $120 this time. So grocery got $20 more food now, I also factor in, I am going to the beach next Friday, so I have about another week and a day before I go to the beach, so I put aside $120 to eat out at the beach. Um, some of my food will be paid for by my significant other, and then um, I just took out an additional $120 just in case if we need any extra money for food or anything like that snacks or whatever so i took out 120 dollars for that and i'm hoping not to have to spend this because i really need to be taking this money and stuffing it in other uh areas like sinking funds and cash envelopes so i hope to come back and be able to tell y'all i didn't have to use the whole 120 dollars on food eating out okay gas um gas as I've increased it by ten dollars, I used to budget out fifty dollars. So with gas going up, I recently decided to increase my gas budget, and I am doing a little bit more driving this summer than I would normally do during the school year. So 
um, gas got $60. Uh, a second line item of gas, this gas right here, let me write beach beside it. This is my portion of gas for us to travel to Myrtle Beach, which is about three and a half hours from where I stay at in South Carolina. We're going to be traveling um, down to the low country. So um, I budget out $60 for gas which I'm hoping I come in cheaper for that because I'm actually splitting the gas costs with my sister so I just did I did budget out $60 for gas laundry laundry gets $10 per week so for two weeks gets $20 so $20 for laundry and I'm going to tell you about this I do I live in a town home style apartment and we do not have um, washer and dryer hookups or a laundry facility on site. So I have to go to the laundromat every week. And it's $10 per week. So I am looking into getting a portable washing machine in the future. So hopefully I can cut this down. Okay, household. Household got $19 for household items that I may need. I need a couple of things like some toothpaste um, and some dish detergent and just, just a couple other things that I could use around the house. Emily. Emily is me and I get $50 to get my nails done and um, actually I've been up like three weeks without a fill in so it's overdue. So I will be going to get my nails done and that's $50 for that. Ashton. I'm going to scoot you guys up so you can see. Ashton gets $40, and that is for any items that I need to pick up for her for the beach. Um, she needs some um, maybe shorts and um, maybe some little slide-on sandals or something like that. She, I, I mean, it, I promise you guys, it seems like I can never get enough clothing and shoes and stuff for her because she is growing and she is still in a stage where she dirties up her shoes a lot so shoes don't last long over here on this end okay so i have something here that you haven't seen before it's ati ati is my physical therapy so um i know you guys don't know because i didn't discuss it in my previous videos but i have been having some health problems recently and um i don't usually have any health problems um i do realize that i'm getting older i actually have a birthday coming this tuesday i'll be 38 and i'm starting to have some things go on with me um but other than that i always consider myself fairly healthy i um, didn't go to the doctor much except for to get my preventative things such as pap smears and mammograms and stuff but um my knee has been giving me problems for the last couple of months and I had an x-ray on it and they're telling me that I have osteoarthritis in one of my knees and I might have to go in for a MRI on it to see if I have a further tear but I have been having troubles with um, walking and being on my feet a lot because I am a custodian I'm on my feet anywhere between eight to ten hours a day and um, it's just taking a toll on me so my daughter ordered for me to go to physical therapy to try to strengthen up the muscles in my both of my knees which I'm only having a problem with one knee but they're saying that my other knee I have a little weakness in it so they're training me on both knees so I have to attend physical therapy twice a week and it is $50 every time I go because I have not met my deductible with my insurance. And I might have some additional costs here as well. So I have had some setbacks, you guys. Let me put this down. I've had some setbacks with my budget. And I was going to start paying off my credit card um, with putting down big amounts of money. But I'm having to pause that because... I have to pay for physical therapy for the next eight weeks so um, and actually it might not be eight weeks it might be longer it might be a little bit less or longer than that but um, I know the total cost for the amount of sessions that I have is about five hundred dollars so I'm gonna I'm trying not to charge 
um, a whole lot of that, but I might have to charge some here and there. But in between, I'll be using my paycheck to pay in cash. And um, I might have to just charge one or two sessions. So, And then once I charge those, I'll pay basically pay my minimal. But um, we'll be getting those child tax credit uh, payments starting in July. So I will be using some of that money to actually pay. So I might not have to pause my credit card debt payments after all but for right now they're paused so i'll just be paying the minimal on there and all all extra money will be going towards me paying cash for physical therapy so physical therapy fifty dollars for uh let's see that'll be for friday session and another fifty dollars will be for next monday session okay beach we are going to the beach for three days and I set aside four hundred dollars for that. I'm hoping to come in a lot cheaper on this end, so that um, because I've already paid for half the room, half the condo, half the um, rental car. So the only thing I really needed to come up with was half a gas, and um, hopefully, like I said, gas won't be as much as what I budget. But whatever I have left in this category, I will restuff and put this to towards sinking funds and cash emos because i really need to uh, save some of this money so that i can uh, fund back to school for my daughter because it's coming it's going to be coming in august and i don't have anything saved up for that i did but things kept coming up and i had to keep pinching off of it so i'm hoping to come in cheaper on this end but i did budget this amount out and this will include like the activities and stuff that we do um i don't plan on doing any shopping there because i can't afford it so just this is just probably be for activities and hopefully we'll do more beach stuff instead of like activities that we have to pay for things because i'm really not trying to spend any money down there and if i do have to spend money i hope there's just a hundred dollars out of this okay so i after i pay all of those things i have a buffer of Eight, $8.45. So that is what I did with my paycheck, uh, $1,555.40. And then I am going to go ahead and bring down the cash, you guys. I usually do this in a separate video, but I am going to do this in the same video this time. So I have my cash here. And what I have, hold on, I have my notes, you guys. I have $960 in cash here. Some of this is going back to the bank because I don't like to keep that much money on hand in my house. So I am going to stuff some of this and then some of this will be going back into my bank account. So I have three $100 bills, 20s, and about four or five tens here. Okay, so all together, I have mostly 20s though. All together, this is um, $960. Here's my cash envelope. So I'm gonna scoop this money up, you guys, and try to get in frame here. So here is my cash envelope system here, and it's just a little vinyl pouch that I per uh, binder that I bought off of Amazon. I need to purchase me a new one because this one is getting kind of old and wrinkly. I have these clear pouches that I purchased off Amazon and my sister made the labels for me on her label maker. So my first category is gas. Gas will be getting, let's see, it'll be getting, I'm going to do this separately because I have this listed out separately. So gas will be getting two stuff in, it'll get $60 and then another $60. So what I'm going to do, because I have my denominations a certain way, I'm going to take 20, another 20, and a, another 20. So 20, 40, and 60. So gas gets that. That's my gas for um, my regular work weeks and stuff. And hopefully I'll have some gas left over. Okay, so then I am going to stuff another 60. So it's 20, 40, and another 20 that makes 60. So 
gas gets another 60 and that up this extra 60 is for my beach trip like i said i am going to the beach for three days okay and i'm going to split the total cost of gas with my sister okay so laundry laundry gets twenty dollars so laundry will get a sorry guys these 20s are sticking twenty dollar bill that's ten dollars for one week and ten dollars for the next week okay the next category is grocery grocery gets a hundred and twenty dollars so I'm gonna do all 20s on the grocery. 20, 40, 60, 80, 120. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 120. So grocery got all 20s. And that is $120 for groceries. Okay. Ashton. Ashton has money in here from last cash and bloat stuffing. Let's see what she has. Ashton has $40 for my last cash and bloat stuffing. And that is for me to pay to get her hair done before we go to the beach. So I am adding $40 into Ashton. So Ashton gets $20. And another 20 and this is to purchase anything that I may need for her before we go to the beach for the beach so Ashton gets 20 and another 20 that's $40 okay Emily Emily has cash in here and I have a total of 20 20 and 10 that's $50 that is from me that was for my nails, for me to get my nails done, but I have not got them done. So I have that 50 and then I'm going to add an extra 50 for me towards nails. So I'll have a little bit just of extra money in my nail category. So I'll get $50. So I'm take a 20, a 20, and a 10. So that's 20, 20, and a 10, that's 50. So I'm going to add that to the 50 that I already have in there. So I'm about a week ahead on my nail fund then. So that means the next time I get paid, I probably will not stuff this category for nails. Ooh, guys, I cannot stand when my money get wrinkled up. I'm trying to straighten it out, y'all. Do y'all have a thing about y'all money too facing the right way or get it being wrinkled or whatever? I don't know how my tin got wrinkled up. There we go. Get in there. Ten dollar bill had got wrinkled. Okay, so put that back down here. Eat out. Eat out hardly ever gets anything, but eat out is going to get a hundred and twenty dollars for us to eat out at the beach. And like I said, I hope that I don't have to use this money. Or if not all of it, I don't want to use, if I have to use some, I don't want to use all. 20, 40, 60, 80, 120. So, eat out gets $120 for us to eat out at the beach. Y'all, you know, I have a plan in my head, but then when you have a child, sometimes your plan change. Because I be having a plan that I ain't going to eat this many meals and I'm going to have this many snacks. And then my daughter has something else in her head. So, hopefully, like I said, I don't spend the whole 120 at the beach. And I can come home and restuff this in some of my sinking funds and cash envelopes. Fun money. So, I don't normally have fun money. But what I'm going to put in this category is I'm going to put my money for the beach. This will be going back into the bank. Because, like I said, I don't like to keep this much money on hand. So, I'm going to stuff it, but it will be going back to the bank tomorrow. So, this category will get $400. So, that's where my little $100 bill is coming to play. So, that's $300. And I'm going to take 
20, 20, 30, 40, I mean, 20, <clears throat> y'all cannot count. And then this, hold on, it's just, it just looked like it's sticking. It look like more than, okay, so 20, 40, 60, 80, and 100. So, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 200, 300, and 400. So, put this in here. This will be going back in the bank in the morning. So, fun money goes back into the bank. And I'm actually going to put, go back and look at this too. This money for EDOT will be going back into the bank as well. Because, like I said, I don't like to keep that much cash out of the bank. And I, I believe it's safer in the bank. So, these two categories will be going back to the bank in the morning. And I will take them out at, once I go to the beach, I will take out some of this in each category. And keep some in the bank just in case I lose my cash or whatever. Just never know. Uh-oh. My phone is dying, you guys. So I hope that did not pause. But um, if it did, I'm sorry. So household supplies. Household supplies actually gets $19 and what I have right now is just a $20 bill so I will get change and get that $1 back later so household gets Back to school does not get anything right now, but I hope to come back and stuff this later on. Date night does not get anything. Birthdays and gifts don't get anything. So I have some money left over and that is to pay for my ATI visits, which is my physical therapy. I'm supposed to have... Um, I'm supposed to have a hundred dollars here, so I don't know what's going on here. So let's see 20, 40, 50, 60, 70. I'm a little short on cash somewhere, you guys. And I don't know where I made a mistake at. But um uh, I'll figure it out. I am a little bit short here, so I gotta figure out where I made a mistake at. But uh so as I say, sometimes that happens. So gas, gas got 60 and 60. Laundry got 20. Grocery got, grocery had got 120. Okay, Ashton, Ashton got uh, 40. Emily got 50. And let's see, I wanna go back and look at my notes. Okay, yeah. Emily got 50. My physical therapy was supposed to have $100 in there. And the beach got 40. So yeah, I'm short on cash somewhere, you guys. But I'm going to go back and see where I'm short at. But thank you guys for watching my video. And I feel a little bit bad because I am short somewhere. And, but I'm not going to take up time, your time, to figure out where I ended up getting shortened at. But uh, thank you guys for watching my video. Um, and I will come back and um, let you guys know how my trip went um, to the beach. I hope that we have a good time. And I'm not going to try to worry about my finances and stuff while I'm gone. But I am going to try to budget accordingly. And um, just try to have a good time. And then I'll... Come back and do an updated video on my cash envelopes and sinking funds so that whatever money I have left, I'll come back and restuff. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you guys later.